Well, it is Thursday morning, 8.42, and I've had two RV parks out of internet for a little bit over 24 hours now. It's one backhaul that feeds both of them. The, <clears throat> the backhaul is fine, the Edge Rider X is fine, but the main line that feeds the equipment that feeds the APs for them two RV parks it's showing all that equipment offline <clears throat> now I showed a repair where the ones that's building the deck cut my wire And I don't know if it's the wire that's that got wet and it's shorted out again even though I you know put a new piece on it but the part that's still underground may be shortened out or they also said the building that the AP is on out there they've been having problems of the breaker tripping that feeds it which if if that breaker trips and that building loses power so does all of my equipment so I don't know if it's the breaker or the wire hopefully it's the breaker in a way then that's something that's going to be in a way more difficult of repairing if it's the internet wire I can go get one that I have at my RV that's I think it's 125 foot the one I had on the 200 foot tower and just replace the one that's underground with it and just lay it on top of ground until this storm's gone and everything because they still got tornado watch and everything else here in Jacksonville as of now until like 1 p.m. but it stopped raining and I'm looking at the radar and I got about an hour and a half after I get there to be able to diagnose what the problem is so I figured hop in you know and head down there and see if I can figure out what it is hopefully it's just a breaker and be able to turn that back on and and, and things just light back up and Go check my RV and see how well it's holding up of leak wise that one repair I did see if it's leaking which I hope and pray that it's not leaking now since I sealed the outside because if it's still leaking I really can't think of a way that water is getting into that location it would be almost to the point where I would have to take the ceiling out to look above the ceiling in there and see if I can find out how it's coming in it might be coming in from three or four feet away and just trickling over then get to that point I don't know but that'll be a different video but I'm going to head down Sneeze Ferry and see if how easy it's going to be to get this internet back on I'm surprised that I don't have a whole bunch of people texting me and all that I only got one so far that's actually reached out to me and said anything about it and I told them I said it might be that wire again or it might be the electrical wire feeding the building they said okay and I said I'll get to it as soon as the weather permits okay that was basically all it was I looked at the uh, 
traffic that's been uh, going on before it went out and it really wasn't much traffic so maybe there's not a lot of people there I don't know but we will see what we can figure out of getting them back online plus I need to check on my own RV so and plus I want to out get out and ride around and see what kind of damage if anything which I really haven't seen anything. I hadn't even seen standing water. Really, I've just seen like a lot of pine straw on the on the roads from here to you know a few spots. But I mean, like I got a little pond over here, and it's not like overrunning. I don't know. But let me get down there and see what I can find. See you there. All right, let's see if we can figure out what this is. Problem-wise, don't know if we had the builders to uh, mess up a wire again or, or what. I don't know. Or is it the power? Don't know. By any chance, the power. All right, 30 amp. It's tripped. It was tripped. It was sitting in the middle. Possibly that's all it was. The 30 amp breaker tripped. And it's an electrical issue, not the uh, internet wire that I put. They have replaced their post. Wire is buried. Let's see if it actually comes back online. Will it come back online? I'm checking to see if it comes back online or not. Hopefully, it does, and it don't just keep dripping. I haven't heard anything yet. It's hard to hear over the air condition. Still on. Any chance it comes back online? The chickens out here. All right, we're coming back online. There's one. Now I'm waiting for the main park over there. One's already back online. Now I'm waiting for Live Oak to come back on. Collins came back online. Breezy out here. It, may, it just may be there. Looks like their electrical that goes from out from from the breaker panel out feeding the building is uh, what the issue is. Because after I flip the breaker, out there and be sure nothing's damaged out here that one seems not to be coming on yet but it has a little bit more of uh, equipment to come on to show online be sure nothing's messed up out here both of them are in plugged into the nano switch opened a little bit. I'm going to get the ladder and take a look at it. Alright. All of them seem to be communicating. Even the 
uh, the uh, AP here. And I just heard my phone go off, indicating most likely that the uh, this dish is actually back online. Hard to tell. Still not showing online. It says it's communicating, but it's hard to tell. You're not on my list. By any chance, did it trip breaker again? Lose power out here? No. Still communicating. Let's see what it says. Okay. says it's back online now but I do have still one out which is access point number two which is at my RV and that's why it's still turning red been out one day and three hours this is all actually up online so this is all it was was the breaker so now I got to figure out why that one's out. I don't even know if I can see my stuff from here or not. Yeah. It's still up. <laughs> it got blown over. But it's offline. Got them back online now. I just got to go figure out why that other AP I have there, when I set up temporarily to push the signal through the trees until I get the second tower up. So I can get all these other people back online. Let's go see what we can do about that. All right, let's get my water turned on. Probably be here for a little while. Not much debris, really. Except a little bit of limbs, leaves. Really don't see nothing, but that uh, AP right in the middle, right above the big dish, is the one that shows not online. I don't know if it's got online since I drove over here, but nope so don't see any damage or anything kind of surprised that the cover there is not even blown off usually just a little storm come through it it, it, it blows it off and here we got a hurricane after effects and nothing this is what I'm really concerned about is the AP and did it leak or not. Just don't know. Get ready to find out. Alright. We unplugged all the 
Ethernet wires and plug them back in and see if it's going to reboot them and get this one AP back online or not. But on a happier note, after all this rain, it's dry as a bone up here. Dry as a bone. Now, of course, now underneath the window is still wet because I never attended or, you know, anything underneath the window. Haven't done anything to it. But this is dry. All dry. I mean, so dry, it's just flaky. So that's good. Now, let's see if we can get all of this back online. All been all of it back offline. It should start coming back online. I love when things just work. They just need to be rebooted after it gets its power back. And now all of it is back online as it was before. Yeah, notification back online. Thank you. Everything's back online. I just have uh, Tower 2 down there that's not online because it don't exist yet. But I did program it so it showed online. Now it's going to show offline since it was connected to the uh, UISP software and lake has three off because there's nobody at them spots 15 16 and 19 but it's back the way it was before the storm started nice now I got rest of the day have fun and clean because it looks like it's uh, getting ready to uh, rain again clouds are rolling in looks good that way but yeah that is and it was dark back the way these are coming from but everything's back up online. I'll sit here, turn the AC on. Keep drinking my coffee. And enjoy the day. And probably start next week. Maybe this weekend, if the weather's permitting, start doing some installs. But I want to thank each and every one of you that continues watching, commenting, sharing, and even the ones that subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I just hope that the breaker don't trip again. If it keeps tripping, we're going to have to figure out what their issue is. I, I do believe it's probably going to be the wire that feeds from that breaker panel out to that building that's got a nick in it and plus it's not UF cable it's regular Romex wire that whoever put it in so over time it will break down and it will start shorting out and that's probably the issue but we'll take care of that. Oop, starting to rain already. Starting to sprinkle. Yep. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.